we're cruising on the Detroit River to get a different perspective on the Chevrolet Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix racetrack. Open wheel racing comes back to the island starting June 1st. A beautiful day for a boat ride. And with a distant view of the Grand Prix circuit, IndyCar drivers Rubens Barrichello, Catherine Legg, and Oriol Servia shared their thoughts about Detroit and what they're anticipating for the upcoming Belle Isle race. I'm very excited about coming here. You know, it's the Motor City, so for us, we know that there's going to be a lot of fans who are related to, especially Chevrolet, especially coming here with the Chevrolet engine, there's going to be a lot of workforce from Chevrolet, a lot of supporters there. I've seen races even on the Formula One pass when the races were not on the island, but, uh, you know, Detroit downtown and uh, it looked it look so, so, so good. I mean, in my memory, from all my childhood and, um, and uh, Formula One and watching Indy, that was Detroit. So for me, it's a pleasure to be here. I think everybody is happy to come back to Detroit for many reasons. Uh, one being the Motor City, I think it has to be in the IndyCar schedule. It's good for us, it's good for the city. Uh, B, because now with Chevy being involved again in IndyCar and, and they've come in a big way, you know, showing a lot of commitment. It just makes more sense to come to their home race, their headquarters in Detroit. Before our river journey, I took a drive along part of the 2.1 mile street course. Granted, I was in my Chevy Cruze going a whopping 20 miles an hour, but even then some of the turns were sharp. The drivers say they're up for the notoriously bumpy, sometimes slick, race course challenge. The track, it's, it's, it's very challenging, uh, some, some, some really good corners. There's not a lot of uh, place to overtake, and uh, you, the, be, you, the strategy and the qualified position, it's, it's what it, it's going to matter. So that's, that's what I have in my mind. For me, it doesn't come easy, this track, because it's very uh, slippery with the concrete areas and so. Um, but somehow, I end up fast, so I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I know it's going to be tough. The, the city is getting more and more competitive every year. We want it really smooth, we want long straights, we want hard braking areas, but uh, at the end of the day the bumps they make for good locking up front wheels and overtaking and crashes and that's what the fans want, so it's actually a good thing. The last time the Grand Prix was held on Belle Isle was 2008. Tickets for the June 1st through 3rd event start at $20. For the Detroit Free Press, I'm Alexander Bahu.